All right, welcome back to the 80 Star Basketball Channel, the only Star Basketball Channel where I've been wheeling and dealing and doing more stuff uh, recently. It's been fun. Um, I remember around the time of the Beckett interview, I, I kind of like there's probably a few months where I wasn't buying, I wasn't selling, I wasn't trading much. Uh, maybe a card here and there, but uh, pretty low action. But uh, recently, I've gotten much more active, gotten to some shows and and everything, and um, it, you know, picking some things up. But it's been a lot of fun. Um, so uh, it, it's like trying to it's the hunt, right? You know, those those bag. I'm, I've been kind of leaning towards bags recently, and and getting the bags and stuff. It's uh, it's definitely the hunt and finding the rare stuff, and it's it's been fun. But today's video kind of got spurred on because one of my things that I did recently was um, I picked up uh, one of these Laniers, and today I'm going to be talking about arena sets. Sorry, the the full. Uh, Full intro is I'm going to be talking about the Star Arena sets today. And what spurred me to do that was this Lanier, you know, being possibly uh, one of the rarest star cards. If you go over here to Basketball Gold, remember, great resources is starbasketballcards.com and Basketball Gold. And if you um, look up uh, in the FAQ section over here on um, the for, and look up uh, like the rarest star cards, whatever the rarest star cards. I've talked about this before where they have the Bob Lanier, they say is likely the rarest. They say the Larry Michaud from the uh, Bucks uh, uh, card night is two or is a rare one. And I'll show that in a second, talk to that set because they kind of list it. Both, both websites list it with the arena sets. But um, the Koch kind of stands alone. It's a very rare card. And I've talked about that. It doesn't. It doesn't belong to a set. And um, it was just on the, uh, you know, the '84 sheet, and it was just printed there. But um, just kind of this whole mystery to that card. So that is my personal favorite. But um, and and I see it. Uh, it, to me, it's more rare. It doesn't seem to have come up as much as the Lanier, but that's just what my take has been. Uh, and, you know, for the uh, rare cards, um, you know, it's it's really, it's how much in a limited amount of time you can see them come up on eBay. Like if you see two within six months, or maybe you'll see two within two years, or you'll see five, and then all of a sudden maybe, you know, you'll see like eight within a three month period or something. Um, not that I went through that with these two cards, but, you know, just saying that it, it's a little difficult to gauge because all, we don't have the exact print run numbers of, um, you know, what the Lanier was or the Koch, but, uh, you know, as far as with them, I, I go by their word as far as, you know, the basketball gold, as far as which one's more rare. And if they're saying the Lanier is the rarest, then I go with that. And so I was going to put, I put mine up on eBay um, as of uh, today, it should be up. And uh, I have a PSA 7 because I picked up another one. So I figured, I was like, oh, I'll put this up. And then I was starting to think about it. I picked up and I I did um, collect all these bags. And I was like, hey, why don't I talk about the arena sets? Um, they're, they're definitely a little different. And not many people know about them. And I, there was a, a couple of cool fun facts to them that I piqued my interest. And one of the things was, is right, like in the Lanier set. So there's there's five um, arena, uh, arena sets, uh, arena teams. There's, you know, basically there was one set of arena sets, which they just distributed the cards to the fans at the arena. And that was at the, um, for the Lakers, the Sixers, Bucks, Celtics, and Mavericks, which not coincidentally is also the same. This is my 83 uncut sheet. And you'll notice it is the exact same teams that are on the uncut sheet uh, for the regular base set. And, you know, the Mavericks, the Lakers, the Bucks, Celtics, and um, uh, Sixers. So I thought that was really cool that you basically had this uh, parallel going on between the arena sets and this very short printed, you know, first base run. You know, obviously the Mavericks are, are legendary within collectors in the know of, um, you know, short printed cards. But these had a lot of print issues and you can even see it up on my sheet. Um, you see this Dr. J right here. I know it's a little hard, but um, it has kind of like a blue line and it runs to about right here. And then it's a little bit, you'll get some more ink like down here. You kind of get some ink 
and it, it comes kind of on the edges, but they had a lot of printing issues. So this, this sheet was very short printed. And these seem to be, um, uh, I, I can't tell, you know, I only see these once in a while. They're not super abundant, but they're, they're kind of less expensive than the counterparts. You know, they're not part of a base set. And these are for the 84, um, 85 um, uh, years. So it's just, uh, it's interesting to see the parallel, but they're not like, I think you can get the Celtics and the Lakers from anywhere from like two to 350 kind of depending, you know, obviously condition and, and all that, but, um, the Mavericks and Bucks without the Lanier, um, you know, kind of 50 to $80 kind of thing. So, you know, fairly inexpensive. I think I picked, I picked up my Dr. J or, um, Sixers bag for like 150, so these three bags and then these two are fairly cheap. However, you can tell if you, for your Milwaukee Bucks, if anyone out there actually has a nine cards in their bag, they actually have a rare bag with a Lanier. And uh, if they have eight cards, then not. But um, so you're looking for a rare bag. This would be a massive collector's item, I think, to, um, to the star folks you know, for, for something that's really rare is to find one of these bags. So if anyone in the comments is watching this, maybe Taft, you know, someone who has one of these, that would be uh, really cool to, um, to, to state it. So getting information on here, uh, I love starbasketballcards.com. You can come here and, and you can look at the, and just click on the, like the sets for how they set things up. It's really easy to navigate and you can kind of go through and um, again, just click the link and you, you get a little bit of uh, facts, how many cards are in it shows the backing. Remember the backing, they did more like the five by seven star cards on most of them. Not all of them. Uh, the Celtics has like a summary, like a normal subset uh, backing, not like this and not like the normal card, a little more like the normal card, actually, but subset where they're writing words and stuff, uh, doing a summary on the back. But um, yeah, just interesting. Like they'll give you information on it and you can you can check it out. So uh, this is one one resource to go. And then over here. Um, if you want to look up, uh, if you come to the home of Basketball Gold, you can come here and you can click on Arena Sets. And then you can come down and just click on See More. And then you can, um, like, it'll it'll give you kind of the lay, um, and give you a little bit of information. And then you can see, like, one of the Milwaukee Bucks um, sets. But, you know, these these FAQs for uh, the subset cards are, are just really, really good. Um and I'll, I'll go back down really quick because I want to show this area right here. They list out all the sets and subsets, regular base sets, championship team, um, subsets of, uh, you know, all-star players, and then um, all-star game, specialized subs, arena subs, five by seven subsets. I mean, this is just a really good information. So basketball call. Uh, gold.com FAQs is a, a great resource. This page lists out everything if you want to see it. So, so I thought I'd give some information on it. Print runs um, about 3000. It seems, um, I don't know if they went up to four, but they basically said that, that they were running around 3000 sets produced and that's both sites do kind of state that they only said uh, 3000. Again, not the the Bob Lanier is um, you know a short printed card. It was it was pulled uh, when he uh, when he retired, so that's why it's uh, so, you know a short print. But yeah, good place to get info, could see some of the cards, get the card information, and you'll get all you need to know. So I, I just thought kind of arena sets were cool, and if you were kind of going after something small and um, fairly inexpensive, and you know the kind of the chase. Uh, I thought this was a kind of a fun thing to uh, pursue and, and for a beginner, maybe this might be, you know, and it's uh, early years of, um, you know, kind of some of those great stars from the 80s. So I thought it was a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you at the next video.